ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome, or uh, rather welcome back, to Outlast. This time it's the DLC. It's uh, The Whistleblower, which got released about a week ago. I haven't played it before, so this is going to be another blind run, so this is going to be fun. Now, I should say, well, I should really say, just before we get started, if you haven't played the main game, if you haven't seen the main game, go and do that right now, because otherwise this isn't going to make much sense, I don't think, and there's probably going to be loads of spoilers or something like that. But, um, but yeah, providing you have done that, keep watching. Uh, Whistleblower takes place before the events of the main game, and um, if you remember the main game, just before you go, as Miles Upshaw, into the asylum, you pick up a uh, an email, an email, a copy of an email from the whistleblower. Um, he basically gives you a lead to go there in the first place and investigate, and we all know what happened there. But um, what we're going to be doing now is playing as the whistleblower, so I think that might be quite interesting. But uh, let's just go straight into it. I want to see what happens. So um, yeah, okay. So it's a new game, right? We've got four difficulties. None of which are easy. I like this. Okay, um... I'm gonna stick with hard. Yeah. Hard, hard's probably okay. Oh, I can move my head. I can't actually move, but I can move my head. Oh, hello. Who are you, then? This can't be good. <laughs> Not ten seconds into the game, I'm being strapped to a chair. And I'm wearing rags as well. Am I a patient? You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. My eyes are open. What's the matter? My eyes are goddamn open. <laughs> what the fuck? My eyes are open. Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. Could be Hope. They're not happy about it. No. Shit. 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 Come on. And there's a camcorder as well. They're recording all of this. I I can't do anything. How do I get out of this? Okay. Two hours earlier. Uh huh. All right. Oh, I see. This is where he's sending the email to Miles. There you go. So two hours after this, I'm being strapped to a chair and I'm getting my ear licked. I'm gonna get caught, aren't I? It's okay, I've got a coffee mug. Pretty damn nervous, obviously. Understandably, actually. Is that it? People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Left mouse button, okay. Well, I'm gonna send the email and, sorry Miles, I'm condemning you to death. I wonder if I'm gonna make it out of here. I guess not. I don't think anything in Outlast ends well. Restricted area, authorized personnel. Am I authorized personnel then? Hello. Park? Maybe. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Right. My what name is here anyway? Mr. Park. I thought you were just a software guy. I'm a software guy and my name is Waylon Park. And I'm employee 1466. Okay. That's everything I need to know, I guess. You're Wayland Park, aren't you? I think. I don't have a pager. Okay. So this is... Yeah, this is right at the end of the main game. This is the underground facility that nobody actually knows about. Hi. No? Am I not going through it? No, I don't think I'm going through that way. This way, I guess. Yeah. I can still sort of slyly, slowly open the doors and stuff. That's cool. That sounds all right. I didn't think I'd miss it as much. The patients start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in shit, years now, right? How long yeah. has it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? You see, there was a woman's ward in the first game, in the, in the main game, but there weren't any women. 
That's a bit weird. Oh, this is right at the end of the game then. Okay. Cutting it close. Next patient's incoming and arterial spin still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Right. I'm pretty goddamn important here then. They've got Gluskin out of the cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. I'm right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, here we go. Final. Where have you been? Just standing behind you. I'm gonna pretend I knew exactly what the hell you were talking about. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yes. Call me by my first name. I don't like it when people keep using the set my surname. It's weird. It's like I'm in trouble. Well, I probably will be. Yes. Uh, MRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayne. Boot system wallrider.exe. More than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Merkel. Oh, he's compiling the software, okay. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Whoa! Epileptic subtitles there. Hello. No, not again. No, no. That's not Billy, is it? I think Billy went in the left sort of pod as well, so he's going in the right one. Wasn't that like filled with blood? Whoa! I know you can stop this. You have to help me. You have Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Not really. I just sent the the email, so obviously not really. Standing by, is it? Is it? Eddie Gluskin, that's his name. He's screwed. I think he ends up as an an orb of blood, basically. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. Fucking hell. <laughs> Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. I'll up yours too, then. Chief, your laptop in the server room. That's where I just was, right? Alright. I hope I'm getting a good hourly rate here. What do you think I'm doing? Okay. Can I run? I can run. Okay. Excellent. So here, and it's the uh, last room on the left. Can I use any of these? I don't think so. Might need a key card for them, actually. But that one, I don't need one for some reason. Right, let's go. Somebody's been telling stories outside. Ah! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Oh shit, lag. Oh shit, loads of lag actually. Wayland Park, consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. Well, he didn't prevent it from going out because Miles still gets the email. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear mm. that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. No, I didn't. Oh, and... Uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? <laughs> this explains a lot, actually. No! The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Oh, come on! A light anesthetic, please! Oh, shit. <laughs> a kick in the face and welcome to the game. Whistleblower, everybody. It's going to be just as harsh as the uh, the main game, I think. And now, two hours later, we're back to this. Okay. Forced to watch all this. Oh, Christ. Oh, what the hell? What? I'm being let out for some reason. Oh, there's a couple of other. There's a guy to the right as well. Yeah. 
We're, we're all up. Why? Why shush? What's happening? Oh crap! All right, uh. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh shit! I'm getting the vision. The camera? Can I pick? I can. Yes, go get the camera. I need night vision, man. Oh, maybe. Maybe I don't want to see what's going on though. Oh shit! Look at all that blood. What? Notes. I've still got notes. That's cool. If I die, I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed. Or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the... the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help, Lisa. I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Boy, did you. Right, so, what was, uh, the button? There you go. Okay, it's F. So does that mean... Uh... I've only got one battery, I don't want to waste it. And it looks like I've only got a max of five as well. Maybe that's something to do with hard mode? I'm not sure. Let me out then. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Let's go this way instead. Oh, it's a battery. It's a battery. Can I just hide in here for a bit? Probably not. I don't think this guy's chasing me anyway. What was going on in here? Uh, hi. <laughs> right, let's just, uh, let's just leave, I think. Let's go. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, you shit! Oh! Son of a bitch! Wall Rider's out. He's out for blood. Oh, fuck! Oh, dude! I died instantly. Right, so I've clearly got to make my way out of here a little bit faster than last time. Jeez. I don't think I'm even locking anyone in there, but... Let's go. Okay, if I see those visions, I should probably just run. But I'm sorry, I saw him here last time. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, no. No. Come to join our therapy session. Here. I didn't really have a choice. Oh, hi. Dig around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Well, like this? No. You will lose. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? <laughs> something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. Gladly. Uh... Oh, that door. Yeah, that's fine. Wall Rider's probably not through that one. Let's just go. Let's just go. Hi, dude. Oh, you shit! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? This... Oh! Oh, God. I was gonna close the door, but someone did it for me. Oh, in the vent, in the vent, let's go. Come on. You're strong, you're strong. Right, interesting. Bad idea. We get out of here through reception and then learn tactical cleanup. If they get here in time, we need help now. 
we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signals, and the lights are on. Markov has under control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help does not without outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Merkov company payroll. I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. You're scared. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new something to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. <laughs> yep. Just to put it bluntly, yes, I am. Right, now, uh, let's read. I think I had another note. Yes, a radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison, funnily enough. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkov is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. Too dangerous. Right, okay. We're going. We're going. So, I've got to look for the, the shortwave radio. I've also got to try and conserve batteries, if possible. Oh, dude! Seriously? Is he always after me? Oh, I see. I see where this is going. I've got to push this, right? Oh! Oh, hi! How you doing? How you doing? Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I don't know who's hostile. Probably everyone. Maybe no one. I don't know. Uh, yes, uh, this way. This way it is. Oh, what? Oh! Okay, okay, uh... Was that a Mr. Wall Rider? Oh, hi. Can I go in here? No, I have to go that way. Figures, doesn't it, really? Inactive? Oh, okay. Oh, shit! He could pop up at any time, right? Oh! No, not that way. Not that way, not, not that way. I was... I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. I don't believe him, but I guess I've got to push the button. Gotta go through the airlock, I guess. So let's go. Lovely! Well, I've just written something down, so it's probably worthy of reading, so let's have a look. The doctors are sick. I'd never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. Then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy. All sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Understandable. But it's probably going to happen, isn't it? I mean, in all likelihood. Okay, so the airlock, that works, that works. Ah, oh, delightful children's drawings of a, a cat witch and a pumpkin. Now back to reality, unfortunately. Here we go. Okay. So... No. 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 I don't like that sound. Oh my god. Quick, 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 quicker, quicker, quicker. Exit! Oh, of course, it's not gonna happen, is it? 
<laughs> so close yet so far. I haven't been to this exit before. Shit. Where are we going? Is that it's a document? Let's have a look. No oh, bloody hell. Um okay. Resignation for mental health, CC eight two zero eight. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville CO. What's that uh I'm not very good with states. Is that Colorado? Anyway. Uh, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consulting contract eight two zero eight, re resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them, with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnoses of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant health care debts. Lovely. Hopefully, she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself, or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Who I'm going to assume is the guy that broke my laptop. Right, okay then, how are we gonna get out of this one? Right, where did, where did these doctors run from? Over here somewhere, right? Okay, well, it's kind of active, it's kind of broken. Might just be able to squeeze through that. No. That didn't sound good. No, no, the door's not working. It's, it's actually not open. There's still some sort of sheet of, like, glass in front of it or something. I don't know. Okay, um... Do I go back on myself? I guess not. Nah, that's probably not the best idea. Um... that open? No. Another battery though, that's a good find. I think I see... Yes, I think I know where I'm going. If I climb up here, yeah, can I climb on here? No, yeah, oh I can, brilliant, excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. So damn dark. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fall down here. Okay, and we're saving again. Alright. Tell you what, guys, this is probably a good time to cut off the first part. So, uh, join me in the second. This is gonna be good. Here. Let me help. <laughs> what the fuck? My eyes are open! Kind of busy here. Oh, you shit! Oh! Son of a bitch! Wall ride is out. He's out for blood. Oh fuck! Oh dude! Hi dude. Oh you shit! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen! Fuck! 